Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Cathedral. Let's jump in here into the uh, Shade Forest and see if we can find out the mysterious secret that lies within. Uh, hopefully we can figure out what's going on. Uh, I'm not sure, but we will try to do our best here. I gotta watch out for this little guy that appears there. There we go. Uh, I knew he was going to appear, and we're just going to... I can't get him. There we go. I was like, I, I won't be able to get him from there. No. He's too far out, but there we go. We've got him. There we go. So, down here somewhere in the depths of the Shade of Forest, there is a secret that awaits, and I'm just going to jump on the spikes. Yeah, sure. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just... Uh, keep on going I got pretty close we opened up this gate in the last episode and this area down here is actually rather tricky so we're gonna have to see if we can make it through here hopefully without dying several times now see this is the hard part getting this guy there we go I wonder ow shoot new Gosh, already died. Not even two minutes in, and I already died. Well, that's just wonderful. Uh, we do have to see about getting that somehow. We have to be able to get in there. It, he almost jumped down, right down on those spikes. That would have been really bad. I got a couple hits on him that time. That's pretty good. I should have... Yeah, almost. Almost got him. There. Oh, he's too far away now. Can I shoot him with an arrow? I shot him with one. I probably could have got two on him there if I was quick enough. But, oh well. That is all right. Let's try not to jump on these spikes again. That probably would be a good idea. I mean, you know, I'm not an expert in all things that are gaming, but jumping on spikes typically in a game is a bad idea. So that thing where I come down in that, uh, um, guy is there is actually really difficult, right? There he is. So we got that out of the way. Wonder if I can get him. Yeah, no, it's what I need to do. Drop down here. There we go. Yeah, and jump on his head again. Woohoo! We did it, and we only took one point of damage. This part here, actually, however is uh, kind of tough because oh, come on i'm not gonna make it uh let's go ahead and fill my health up and then we are going to kill no oh i don't even know what that does all right run run there we go oh probably if i mess it up i can go back that's probably what it what it does there is uh yeah if you mess up you could eventually go back. Hopefully that fills up my, yeah, my health potion. That's what I was hoping at least it would do. There is some kind of gargoyle thing here, I do believe. Let's drop down the little middle thing. And uh, what was going on here? I don't remember from the last episode. I do believe I ended up getting, I uh, can't, yeah, is there okay i got him to go the other way that's good i was really worried there okay, we opened this up but i don't remember what was down here to oh maybe let's go this way this is the way we're oh yes i do remember this now it's this craziness um let's see if we can maybe get rid of something here so I don't have like three things attacking me at once would probably be a great idea let's get rid of this and of course that will give me a little bit of money which would be great we love money money is a good thing I'm gonna jump on this guy's head oh no no get away can I kill this thing here we oh ow that hurt that actually hurt pretty bad there there we go I think in the last episode, I was like right here and then jumped off to my death somewhere around here. I missed a very, very pivotal, um, I cannot make, I'll never be able to make these jumps on a regular. I'm just, 
that jump right there. Ha ha, we made it. Woohoo, ho ho, he. Oh, oh, can I, my, yeah. Here we go. Let's see, ooh, save spot. I love save spots. Awesome. Gosh, that's, that guy is gonna be a pain in my bootay. Nope, these things are gonna be a pain in my booty! That's what's gonna be a pain right there. Oh, I hate these blocks. Um wonder if I can go down the other No wait, you know what? I am I can't run but I can. I should have looked at the walls a little bit better. Let's see if I can make it actually back this way. Cause I want to see what's down below over there because there's actually a reasoning here. Ooh, just barely made that. There's a thought process to my madness. So let's uh, go check out my thought process. Over here, it only looks like there's just a down. So there's probably, there's doesn't look like there's any openings anywhere down here. So I'm assuming, oh, there is actually. Ah, oh, we missed it. Can I make that jump over there? I don't know if it'll let me to continue. Can I duck, jump? Oh, maybe make it? I don't know if I can. It looked like I could push my way Oh, no, not quite. Let's, let's grab all this money and head back to the city. Is really what I need to do. Can I? Nope. Can this little ghost guy break anything? Because sometimes he seems to be able to break stuff. Can he open things? That would be an interesting... Can he open these chests? Not sure if he... Yeah, it doesn't look like he can there. Okay, right, well, there we go. Let's go back up then and head back off the other way. I probably should just die. That's gonna be the easiest way because that's where the, uh, the save thing was. Was over there. Oh, man! I was not happy about that outcome. Right there, not what I wanted, but we're back over here. So yeah, there we go. Let's see, what was, yeah, let's see. How are we gonna kill this guy that's gonna be in my constant, oh well, there he's sort of out of, oh, I messed that one up. It's gonna go straight up. That's gonna be a hard one to hit, to be honest with you, is to be able to, yeah, I missed it. Yeah, yeah we're not gonna be able to, I don't think we'll be able to jump that. That's gonna be a really, very, you almost have to, unless I let it come up and was able to jump around it, maybe? I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna get through this. I'm gonna lose all the money I've made here. Oh, this is a vine. Oh, but doesn't really help me at all. Okay, that one was not what I wanted, but okay. Okay. Okay, jump. No, no. Run, can I make it? No! Oh, man. Uh, okay. Okay, welcome back. We made a huge cut of there of me dying several, several times. So we are going to go on and explore and hopefully be able to do something here. And maybe we will be able to kill this guy at a ranged area. Yeah, there we go. We got him killed, which is great. And let's see if we can Continue onward and upward, skipping over several, several episodes of me dying horribly and disastrously. Uh, can that make me get... I'm not sure what that... Oh, there we go. I like that, but that's really not going to help me any, but okay. 
we uh done the something there and let's see Ooh, there's a safe spot there that one section with the spikes and the blocks and i've got to say mega man is was basically ruined by having those kind of disappearing blocks for me um i don't really like that mechanic uh but in one spot if one spot is frustrating and you know in my opinion not the best then that's okay we can i, I continue we could like the rest of the game you know all games have something that is not good and i can't do anything there um i bet you anything that same strange key that the bank shop person has is what goes there and unfortunately uh oh i cannot go that way now okay let's go all the way back up to the bank i guess is by that key which is just up over here in the bank shop area and that's frustrating Really frustrating on how many times I die there. That's see, in areas like those spike areas, it's just it's just not fun. It's not a a thing that's going to impress me in your mechanic building abilities. So I don't know. I want to shop. Need this gargoyle key. And then bank the rest of it, I guess. Not really happy about that, but. What can you do? There's not much else I can do, but that bird just used that trampoline to get up there. That's kind of funny. But overall, again, every game has something that you're not gonna like in it. So as long as that's those disappearing blocks are used in a a minimal fashion, then I I can I can go with the rest of the game and have fun and play it. So it's a possibility that this, you know, is still going to, uh, I wonder if those blocks are still broken now that I, uh, um, went out of the area. I don't know if that is how that works there. I'm just gonna, yep, there we go. I just keep on killing him. There's no reason not to get rid of, just get rid of that guy. No reason to try to rush it. Let's go. Slowly and surely, if we can make it to one of those save spots, I'd be really happy. I don't think it'd be too hard to make it. It's just down. We'll have to see here. Right here is where we'll find out if it's if I um, keep those. I think it was in this room. Yeah, they looks like they're still broken. So yeah, we just go this way now. And down, woohoo, right down. There we go, nice little shortcut. And we gotta go over here and get our health potion back, which is cool. These things are kind of nice, I like them. I like the graphics of you walking back to them. So that's, I mean, it's nice. this away there was a specific reason why I went off to one side is so that um, I would if one of those skulls came up then I'd be able to um, get around it basically I would yeah if, if I was going down on one side and then that skull came up I'd be able to move over out of the way okay let's fight some gargoyles I guess Put the key in there, Clive, the forest dweller. Ooh. Let's go, Clive. Hey, okay, there. Oh, that's kind of crazy. How am I going to be able to hit it? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Bounce on his head. Bounce on his head. Oh, I got. Oh, he hit me hard. Ooh, that was a hard. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I shouldn't bounce on his head. Wow, Clive is. Clive is a killer. Woo! Yeah, yeah, that was a bad idea, I think. So let's... 
Hope it gives me the key again. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like good. We might just, I think, try to avoid him. I don't think it would be best to stay on his head like I tried. There, let's just hit him randomly and then run and maybe hit him again and then try to die, not die. I'm gonna have to jump on his head there a little bit. Oh, oh, oh frick. yeah, this is gonna be a tough battle here, it looks like. Okay, not too bad. We're gonna die here, though. I don't think that these things will be stopped by my... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, it's him. If I hit him, that's what's gonna... Ah, frick. He's gonna be a tough one to fight. That's for sure. We're gonna lose all my gold, too. Mm -mm -mm. So I don't want to hit him specifically. There's probably nothing over here, is it? Yep. Um, he's gonna be hard. I gotta say that this is not gonna be an easy battle, I don't think. Oh, that, that kills me. Hit the wrong button. I went to... We go yeah there we go we got him finally wow that was a quite a, a tough battle there I got to say I got to ooh, we got a good sword magic sword give me give me give me tanzanite well well balanced blade infused with tanzanite gems deals plus two to damage Woohoo! yeah 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 we got a cool sword Okay, let's see what we go from here. I do gotta say, I know I said, a, ooh, another sh armor too. Sweet, that looks like something very good. Armor augmentation, start with five hearts instead of four after dying. Well, I can't say no to that, but uh, I know I kind of said it a little bit already in this episode, but um, I'm a little frustrated with this section. Uh, it's not been my favorite section to deal with. Uh, there is, in my opinion, a lot of uh, artificial difficulty here, which I don't particularly like. Um, and especially the, there was a way to get up there. There we go. Um, and not only the spikes that we had to go over, but also the, um, that, boss right there was considerably in my at least in my opinion considerably more difficult than the uh first boss so it's a little frustrating to I get over there there has to be a way to get over to get those uh chests but um so between the difficult in my opinion, very difficult um, uh, boss and the uh, spikes beforehand. I really feel that this is this was a level which was made a little too difficult. Now there are that's not at all what I wanted to do. Whoops. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's a little more difficult than it could or should have been, in my opinion. Um, so, it's not all bad. The game's not all bad. I do try to be very positive in what I say about games and look at the best of the game. But, again, uh, there are some aspects of this game that I just wasn't happy with, to, to, to say the, the least. Um, so, take that what you will. I want to go check something that I just thought about. So let's run back down here really quickly and see. Now that I have a bigger sword, I wonder if... Where was... No, was it this way? It was down one more. I wonder if I could break those big blocks. That's what I wanted. There. Nope. Still can't do anything about those. That's what I was curious about. Oakley doakley. Um... But yeah, it's a good game overall. I really like it. Um, I wish some things would be a little bit different, 
but uh, that being said it's not a bad game and a few little things no game is perfect no game is going to have everything that uh, you like and nothing that you don't um, there is um, things about every game that you're just not going to be happy with um, I do will say that the blocks or the disappearing blocks in this section um, it are a lot better than normal disappearing blocks um, a lot of the cases like as you see over there to the left the blocks are highlighted which makes a huge difference in being able to deal with the um, the blocks and being able to uh, deal with that accordingly so um, the outline of the block is a lot better makes it a lot easier to deal with um, also the uh, timing of the disappearing and reappearing of the block um, is better in this game than say like uh, Mega Man which is a game that I had the most uh, experience uh, with in the disappearing block so um, there is um, I want to kill this guy I should be able to kill him a little bit easier now because I have a plus two to my uh, sword, but there we go. Um, so yeah, the timing is much better um, in this regard, so that is definitely a good thing. And there has to be a way to get down there. There just has to be. Ah, uh, shoot, I wasted that thing again. Um, I wonder if he could pick up books. No, he cannot. There's no other way down other than that unless... I don't think that yeah it just there's that little room down there that makes me say that I have to get down there somehow but I have no idea in which to do that so we'll deal with that at some other day but we got up here we are going to go to the bank uh, and drop this a thousand or just under a thousand coins under um, I really really would like to have that um, augmentation I think there's another augmentation I could buy at the bank. Uh, another armor class, so hopefully we'll be able to get that at some point as well. I really wish... Um, yeah, yeah, letters. I really wish I knew what, who to talk to. I still haven't figured out who to talk to about the... So yeah, shop, there's this here, an emerald armor. So I get one more defense and stay in more hits. So that's something that's going to be uh, very helpful uh, for us. So we're going to drop in some money here so that we don't lose everything, which we have a tendency of doing. Um, let me see. There is somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Binary augmentations. So there are a couple more armor augmentations that we could do. We don't know anybody that knows more about the Magnus apparatus, the book club we've done a little bit, and still the orbs are the only thing that we gotta really deal with. But again, um, it, I can't find anybody that says anything, so that I find that a little bit, or says anything different. They're not uh, changing their tune, so to speak. The only other guy, I mean, I would think that the wizard would guy would have something, but uh, this little magician dude, but um, he just seems to want to heal me too. Do healing. Yeah, okay, just a little. Okay. Let's think here for a minute. What can I do? I could go over in the graveyard. I might be able to get, that's the graveyard. We weren't able to get very much in that. And then there was this spot right here. Um, and there was down in, well, let's go check the sewers. I don't remember what stopped us in the sewers uh, off the top of my head, but let's go down here and see what it was and see if we can combat it which is part of a typical part of a metroidvania um so let's see why i got stopped down here let's that's just a dunk and it's oh yeah these vines 
So we can't do anything about those vines. And my little ghost guy can't do anything about the vines. So that's what stopped us. There is seems to be another drop off over on the other side of those. So we'll have to uh, ex explore that as well. I was hoping that sword would allow me to break those uh, metal bl blocks, but oh well, that's the way it goes. So I guess the next step would be um is checking out the sewers a little bit more. Trying to think of, not the sewers, the graveyard. Again, I can't think right off the top of my head what um, blocks me in this area. Ouch. That stupid thing right there is what blocks me. That guy is a big annoying pain in the day. Ah, see, if I do that, it's just going to reset him. There we go. There we go. We got him that time. I hope I can make that jump. And the little slimy pulsating. Oh. There we go. He's not near as hard as he used to be. That sickle is not as deadly. Let's go down here. Let's just cover all the areas and see if something else has opened up. No. No, my ghost maybe could do. This guy only seems to do like certain things at certain times, and I'm not sure what those certain things are. Ah! Well, I can actually kill the um all at once uh, before he swings the little Grim Reaper guy. There's the electric field again that I can't get over. Um, there is more this way. That was the... Do not recall. Okay, that was okay. The teleporter. Like there's something in there, but I don't recall what it is. Oh, I... Um... I am going to, I believe... Try to figure out how to get around here, and I'm... Still haven't opened that gate up, but I feel that's really important, but I don't know how. I think now that we beat that boss, we'll uh, end the episode, but I'm curious at what else I can do right away, and there does not look to be uh, much here. And again, I'm going to have to figure out about the orbs. That looks like the only thing is just to go through the town and try to speak to everyone and see that's gonna be ouch oh dude he did a lot of damage to me um and see what i can figure out from there there has to be something somewhere to turn off that electricity and i don't know what it is or how to do it which is a little annoying but i don't know i don't know how to Figure that didn't help. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Jumping down on it with my uh, sword didn't do anything there, which is uh, a little interesting. Hmm. I wonder if... I don't know. I don't know what I wonder. Oh, man, the slimy guy killed me and I lose some money. That's not good, but that's okay. That puts me on the other side of here. Oh, we got five hearts now. Sweet. That actually helps me out. Um, let's run back to the bank, deposit this. There are, see, there's a dot there, and I still don't know what those little dots, there's two dots, one right there and one right there, and I do not know what those mean. There's several over here as well. I wonder if that, oh, it's these save spots. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, okay. Let's see what you have to say real quick. Arch next to me in the next house, more of them are, yeah. You just tell me about that, which really doesn't help me out. I wish I could, like, kill the little birdies and stuff. That'd be kind of ruthless, actually. Um, I meant to go up to the bank. I put every little penny in there. wonder if he gives me something after collecting so many books. 
Or would he just give me money? 750 more gold, sweet! And then there is this over here, which is still a very elusive altogether. So I don't know. That's going to let me go up that way somehow. And I don't know how to get up there. I would feel, I really feel a double jump is coming on at some point. I don't know for sure, but I feel that somehow we're going to get a double jump. Um, and just right off the top, that looks like the easiest way to get that. Let's see what this guy says. I wonder if the, the bubble guy tells me anything. Ooh, spooky. Hey, come on. Tell me something. You're not going to tell me anything? A scholar here in Ivy Stone hits. His house is so full of books, the key is placed out of your reach. It will fall down if pushed. Well, I know that, but how do I push it? How do you push a key? Push. Push the bookshelf? Maybe I'm missing something. But how would I push a bookshelf? I always look push the key. I have nothing that can get. I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, it went right through it. I don't know how to get to push the bookshelf. Or the key for that matter. And that just gives me, yeah book of books really doesn't help me out. There's nothing it seems like I could do from here. Falls if I could push the push it. But it doesn't say whether it's pushing the bookshelf or pushing the key itself. My arrows went right through it. Um, hmm, interesting. Oh, well, we'll see. I mean, that seems to be the next thing. Um, but I don't know how I would go about doing that. Oh, well, we'll run up to the bank, put away this extra thousand gold, and hopefully um, survive into the next time. In the next episode, we will continue our mission of trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Sometimes that is quite a difficult mission. So let's uh, go drop off our extra money. We want to drop it off as much as we can so that we don't lose the money. You know, that that's the big downside to dying is that you'll lose the money. Well, I do appreciate y'all all stopping by and watching. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye, everybody.